how do you present yourself in such a way that someone takes you seriously or believes that you can give them what you say you can give them at whatever cost it is like that's basically where it starts because if someone can believe you that you can give them what they need that is a very first thing they can now decide to listen to your pricing now when you talk about pricing they're going to try and look at what you promise to give and compare to the price if they add up if they don't add up most people sideline you so if they keep telling you that i'm going to start next week and next week comes and they say i'm still sorting out something of course they are trying to sort to think if you if you are worth giving that money to you so it all goes back to you the person people always respond to you the person it may not even be the price at all so what exactly do they respond to people like people they like that's just it so at times when people don't respond to you it's because they just don't like you like not that you are not likable but <laughs> they just don't like you or you present it yourself in such a way that they cannot get that you know thing within them eh, to really respond to you in that way so that's number one. they just do not like you so they may not go ahead and agree with you sales or getting people to buy from you is very personal if you cannot make it personal you can never sell so whoever you talk to make it personal do not talk to them like you're just passing a flyer to them be immersed in it when you talk about whatever you talk about make it known that you understand what you're talking about that is the second point if you are not likable you should at the least present yourself like you are legit like you understand what you know so the second point is when you talk to that person about whatever it is you're talking about does it come out like you know what you're talking about or you're just joking or you're just pretending there are times when you just look like you're pretending whatever you're talking about you're just pretending about it the person doesn't see any confidence when you're talking about whatever you're talking about at times you don't go into details you just they are on the surface of whatever it is other times they ask you a question and you cannot respond as quick now the worst is there are times when you look like you are begging for them to give you money and that one is just of no one is going to respond to you in that way you need to show confidence that you understand what you're talking about so you cannot show that confidence if you do not know what you're talking about so know whatever it is you're trying to sell into detail that when you speak to them they see on your face that you actually believe what you're talking about because at times people just don't get it now if you're texting there is a tone to text that will show how firm you are if you're having a phone call there is still a tone and that tone is not arrogance it's just being firm and decided about what you're talking about um <clears throat> let me give an example i have had a lot of experience with people on how to get them to do things i'm not the most warm person if you met me and you don't talk to me you may never want to talk to me you know like at all but if i'm determined to talk to you and to get you to do something 
I'm going to get you to do that very thing for free, like for really free. And I'm not trying to brag. I'm just trying to tell you that getting people to pay doesn't come from elsewhere. It comes from within. There is a will inside of you that you need to grow that can allow someone to respond to you when you ask something of them. You need to have this kind of competence and confidence in what you're talking about so that when you talk to anyone, they believe you. At the least, they believe you. And they may not sideline you. They may just tell you straightforward, I cannot afford this at this moment. Or they can tell you, let me get back to you after some time. So number three, a recap, the very first one is, you need to be likable. People should like you. Or you should present yourself in such a way that they can like you. No one really wants to be doing anything with people they don't like. You may not be likable, but you can present yourself as likable. You may be very likable, but your communication with that person just doesn't bring across that at all, so they may not go with you. Number two, know what you are talking about. Everyone wants to deal with an expert, more especially when they're going to give you money. They want to understand that whatever you're telling them about is valuable. So know what you're talking about before you start talking about it. Know why you price it exactly the way you price it. Know why you're approaching that very person and not someone else. So know what you are talking about to the smallest detail. Then the third one, show that you care. Show that you care. Most times you tell people about something, but you just drop it there. You know, like it's just anything else. People want to know that you care about them if you're going to sell anything to them. So how does this come across? Follow up. If someone doesn't buy right now, the only way they can know that you actually care about them and not just about their money is when you follow them up later on. So if someone tells you, I'm going to start next month, you shouldn't wait up until next month comes before you can talk to them. Like check on them, ask what's up, what's going on, maybe talk in line with that topic, just talk to them normally. Show them that you care about them and it's not just their money that you're after. That brings a lot of challenge because at times you get so many other things coming in. There are times when I engage some other people and they start selling to me instead. Now they start send, sending their pro- promotionals. <laughs> But that's part of it. You know, if you really care about them, you're still going to keep up with them. And you keep showing them that the value you need to give them is really worth it. So those are the three basic things. Number one, be likable. Number two, know what you're talking about. Do the detail, be an expert. So that when you talk, your tone, your voice, your facial expression shows that you really know this thing and you understand it. Number three, show that you care. Follow people up. You do not have to be talking about the thing. You can talk about other things, but follow them up. Uh, Wish them a great week. Right now, we have a lot of stuff going on. We actually have so much to tell people. You can simply ask, how are you doing? I wish you a COVID-free week, you know. Just those simple things show that you care about them. So this works when you're just starting. And that is all you need when you're starting to grow a brand. It's you that has to stay in touch with everyone you will learn how to handle all this before you can now grow to a bigger audience. 
Now, afterwards, this is going to reflect on how you make your posters later on to put out. It's going to reflect on <clears throat> the type of text you send to your people. It's going to reflect on how critical you are when you're texting people or making a phone call, how straightforward and how you present yourself later on to people. It goes across to any sort of business. Start with that one person. Learn how to speak to them. Learn how they re react to you. Learn to follow them up. After some time, you're going to get how exactly to do it. <clears throat> know the person you're going to be talking to and know how to appeal to them. <clears throat> 